probably could have utilized them a little bit more to get a better hit chain, but whatever. If I can get an X rank for this area, that would be really good. Yeah, I think I might be able to get an X rank if I do this really quickly. And... Yeah, you get the idea. This guy wants to take a thousand years to do anything. It's going to make it harder. I was thinking maybe because it's three, three thin slices, maybe that would be... And by slices, I mean slashes. Slices. Three thin slices. It sounds like I'm doing an ad for fucking cheese or something, but... um. I'm not doing an ad for cheese. I'm trying to. Anyway, um. Hit him. Yes, thank you. But yeah, I was thinking because it's, it's almost like three attacks in one, maybe it would do like triple the hit chains, but no, it doesn't. Or triple the hit into the hit combo. But it doesn't do that because that would be a little bit extreme. Uh, anyway. Okay, I didn't manage to do that. That's okay. If I can get a really good hit chain here, then I should possibly be able to get something close to an X rank. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. Because I would love that. I think because I love this weapon so much, I'm... Then again, because because it, the attack itself is thicker, so I suppose that gives me a greater area of, area of effectiveness also, which is really cool. You know what, I'm going to use Sizzle here because I don't trust this guy. If he jumps over my attack, I will be so angry. Like, really angry. I wonder if I can kill both of these slimes. This could be really interesting. I've never done this before. Okay, so that doesn't work. Okay, good to know. I'll just use normal Sizz because I don't think I need Sizzle to kill this guy. Okay, I do apparently. <laughs> anyway, that was fun. Oh, we're not done yet. Always good for the hit chain as well. All of these guys. Let's do Sizz. Oh no, we need to do Sizzle, that's right. I mean, Sizzle is probably not the most intimidating name for an offensive spell, but whatever. It wasn't me who came up with it, so I can't be blamed. Okay. Come on, guys. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. There's just something about this weapon. I feel like I can have better accuracy right now for some reason. I think maybe it's because I'm paying more attention or something. That could be it. You bastard. Th that's the reason why I did Sizz, because I was worried that he was going to run away, and that's exactly what he ended up doing. It's quite upsetting. Alright, is that the last confrontation before the boss? There might be one more. Yeah, I'd say... Oh, no, that... Oh, yeah, there is one more. Alright, we're going to have this guy. Come on. You're going to attack first. I don't mind too much. You can do whatever you want. I feel like my accuracy is just better with this weapon because it's such an interesting weapon. But anyway... Uh, just for the sake of hit chains, I'll probably just fight this guy normally. I'm not going to do a... Because I'm thinking, I mean, what would be better? Kill this guy quickly and get a better clear time? Or get a better hit chain? And I'm thinking a better hit chain will do better in general, so... At least for my score. So we'll do that. Yeah, yeah, I get the idea. You've always said the same thing. Defeat no more. I guess that's what he meant. That's pathetically easy. I mean, our, uh, our clear time is still going to be perfectly fine because we're going to kill this guy pretty quickly. Obviously, this guy's attacks are really not going to be phasing us too much. I think we know how to take on enemies that can do stuff like that, realistically. You know, attack us in different areas of the screen. I think we're pretty good at that by now. Alrighty, so that's 173 hits, which is pretty good, and lump of iron ore from that guy, I was correct. So let's have a look at our score here. This is definitely going to be our best score for Galantine Glades. I don't know how good this is going to be. I don't think that's X rank worthy. Oh, it's close. I almost got an X rank. I tried my best. 
I tried my best. What could I have done better there to get me an X rank? Um, monsters vanquished. I only I only lost one monster there. Um, longest hit chain. I don't know. That's a pretty solid effort there. That's a pretty solid effort. But I suppose X ranks are pretty difficult to get. My highest score so far has been uh, twenty-seven thousand. So, yeah, and I got that from King Latem. That's my current uh, best run with King Latem. I did two really good runs. I did a 26,000 and I did a 27,000 my last farming session with King Latem. And that's that's basically a perfect run. There is... I don't even know if there's... if you're able to get to 30,000. I don't know if that's possible, but I would be quite surprised if you could do that. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I've been using the Kitten Claw here. Pretty interesting weapon. I don't know if I want to do the Poison Needle, to be honest. Does it automatically do full damage when you... Like, can it just automatically kill anything when you do a thrust? It says capable of felling a foe. Like, I don't like the word capable. Capable doesn't sound very uh, positive to me. Uh, do I... Oh, I probably have time to do... Uh, do I want to do Galantine Glades again? I don't know. I don't know, man. So, yeah, we can't upgrade these weapons because they don't even have Master Stroke, so they're not really... That, they're not really normal weapons, but uh, anyway, I think we can upgrade this now. Are you shitting me? God damn! It. Oh yeah, that's right. I had no iron ore at that time. I forgot about that. Okay, well let's go somewhere. And by somewhere, I mean probably Galantine Glades again. If you don't want to see Galantine Glades again, then I'm sorry, but I don't think Arandite Heights is so good for. Oh no, Arandite Heights is actually quite good for. Iron ore. Okay. This video is... I don't care how long this takes. If this takes a long time, I'm not really concerned. Because I'm just going to make it a kind of a long video then. I don't care. Because I'm going to go and do Arandite Heights with this weapon. I might even regret what I'm doing right now. Uh, but I haven't done this in a long time, so I'm just going to do it. Of course, I'm using the Poison Needle right now. I don't know if this is a good idea, especially considering I can't thrust to save my life, but... Uh, We'll see how this goes anyway. I really don't know what to expect right now. This might be horrible failure, I'm not sure. What? 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 This is not working too well. This is not working too well. I don't really... I don't know, this is weird. Shit. And I'm missing my attacks a little bit too. I knew that it was bad when it said that it's capable of felling a foe. Look at this, capable of felling a foe. This is so terrible. <laughs> I shouldn't have used this, this was a bad idea. Why did I allow myself to do this? I really don't think this is good. This is ridiculous, everyone. Okay, that's okay, fine. I'll just- I'll use Unless's magic for the whole thing then. I don't really care that much. I don't care. We'll just use Unless's magic. It's easy. I can do that. Because Unless's magic is enough to just destroy everyone here. And I don't think I'll have to use any- anything really, as in, you know, magic water. Oh yeah. I'll use Sizzle in case I can't finish them off with the next one. I'm not very impressed with that, to be honest. I was expecting it to be a little bit more consistent than that. But apparently not. Oh well, I guess we'll just be going through this area with Atlas. That's fine. You can see how that works out, I guess. It definitely does make things pretty quick. I can probably get through this area super quick when I'm doing this. As you can see, I sheathed my weapon, weapon really fast there because I pressed the A button at the end of the confrontation. Guess I'll just shield this, that's fine. Just for the sake of guard accuracy, of course. Oh, okay, so that... Even those rocks can die. Good to know. We killed that so far away. 
I'll do sizzle again. I really don't mind. Look how fast we're going through this. I mean, that's just the benefit of using Atlas. Because, I mean, realistically, you can just hit them from any distance, so you don't have to worry about waiting for them to get closer to you. On top of that, it's one hit. I kind of wanted the others to appear, to be honest. We'll do it now. I think now there's three. Yeah. See how much faster this all is? Maybe I will need to use a... Whatchamacallit by the end of this. And by whatchamacallit I mean a magic water, but it's not a big deal if I do need to do that. We only need to do a normal Sizz here because I've done this before. I want to keep my magic kind of intact. Piece of monster bone, that's always good. And we'll be able to get three... Actually, we won't do it again there. We will be able to get three iron ore at the end of this quest because I'm assuming we'll be able to get an S rank. And then once we do that, it'll be pretty good because that's three... Monster, not monster bones, uh, iron ore. And that's because we get two for an S rank, I think, and one for... Or is it... It's like two for a B rank or something, and then one for an S rank. Something like that. Two rewards are monster bone, that's all you need to know. And one of them's two, one of them's one. Uh, oh no, I didn't mean to attack there, that's not good, because that's bad for my accuracy. It's terrible, in fact. I'm not happy to hear that. Or well, not happy to see that. As you can see, I mean, we're looking at our levels here. Atlas is level 66, so... And I was... At one point, my level was the same as Atlas's level, but Atlas has overtaken me. So... I mean, that just shows you that... Basically, Atlas doesn't need as much experience to level up as I do. How did I avoid... How did I not avoid that, I mean... The best thing about this also is that I shouldn't actually know I'm not going to have a perfect um, enemy confrontation, unfortunately, simply because at the beginning one of them ran away, so I'm not going to be able to have all enemies killed, unfortunately, which does upset me in a small way, but anyway, there's not much you can do about that. Yeah, that is definitely the last time I'm using the poison needle. I'm amazed that it is so, that it is so shit. I think, I don't know, I'm not sure if I ever used it outside of Caliburn Cave. That's the thing. I think it might have worked okay in Caliburn Cave, but I wasn't too into it. Oh man. Maybe trying it out on Arondite Heights was a little bit, you know, ambitious. Alrighty. And we probably want to use Sizzle for this guy. 38 damage is pretty good. Alright, well that's it for that confrontation. Once again, not too much to say. Well, not really. Once again, I haven't said that in this particular instance. But yeah, there isn't too much to say right now. I'm just going through Arendite Heights, which we've done a few times now. And, um, yeah, it turns out that it's probably not going to be the most entertaining run through this area, simply because, I mean, yeah, it's kind of, we're just doing stuff with Atlas here. And I don't know if that's as entertaining for you guys. It's kind of normal for me, but I think it's different from my perspective than for you guys. I mean, the perspective of the person playing the game and the person watching the game is obviously going to be quite different, but, uh, I mean, I don't mind it too much, personally, but... Might be enough to make you guys want to slit your, slit your neck open, so I'm not sure. There's going to be quite a few boulders here. I kill all of them. I kill all of them. You sizzle here. I'm not sure if sizzle is enough to kill that guy. Well, there's another rock over there that we just destroyed as well. I mean, you can see how fast we get through this area. It's very quick. Very quick. So I think at the very least our clear time is going to be quite considerable. 
because from very early on, actually, we have been doing Anlas, Anlas's spells, so... Yeah, it was good. Okay, so we want to do Sizzle from now on, because Sizzle's not enough to kill these guys in one hit. I think Sizzle requires double the magic anyway, so... Yeah, it's not a big deal if we do have to use Sizz twice. Uh, I'll shield both of these. Once three come, I need to use... Oh, here we go. Actually, Sizz was probably enough for that. Oh, that was actually a good thing, because there were enemies over there as well. Look how fast that is. So easy. Seems at any distance, it doesn't matter. I'm able to just kill them. This is going to be very quick too, of course. One shot all of these guys. Very fast. I wonder if this is going to work. Can I kill these guys while they're... No, I can't. I got a bit too excited there. Oh dear, this isn't going to be fun. I'm trying to thrust this guy. I did my best there, okay. At the very least, I'll be able to get a bit of a hit chain going here, I suppose. I'm trying to thrust, come on. This is terrible. I mean, are you able to tell when I'm thrusting? I think you can tell, but it's not very good, is it? Oh, there we go. We managed to <laughs> finally get that one shot going. I mean, I don't know. It seems that there's only a certain... Uh, what do I call it? certain chance that I'm able to actually get a one-shot with a particular thrust. Also, I don't know... I, don't, I really don't know how I'm going to be able to handle this boss. I don't know how this is going to work. I'm going to do, to my knowledge, my most powerful Master Stroke, which is absolute zero. And we're going to see how useful this is going to be. I don't know how it's going to work. But uh, I'm thinking that with... A weapon that does one damage? <laughs> this is not going to be too great, but uh, I will do my best and see how this works. Let's do absolute zero. Hold on! Envoy of Xyphos is not even on the screen. What if I don't actually hit it? This isn't good. Usually I wait for the enemy to be in front of me before I do this. Maybe this won't even make contact. That would be really terrible if that's the case. Oh look, we still did 237 damage. Maybe? I'm th maybe... Oh, the Master Stroke is totally unrelated to the amount of damage that... Oh, this is going to be good. Because I'll be able to hit that back, and then that's it. Look at that. How excellent is that? I'm happy to see that the uh, Master Stroke is unaffected by the damage of the weapon itself. That's good to know. So that means it's... The weapon that you're using is absolutely, completely unrelated to the Master Stroke. That's good to know. Our clear time still did not really give us that good of a score. I mean, come on. Fucking 7 minutes and 57 seconds clear time. That's very good. <laughs> very, very fucking good. So I didn't even get an S rank. So that entire thing was a waste of time. What's the strength? What? Van what? Vanquished Monsters 1. What? I, I don't... Oh, I must have... It's because I vanquished a monster. Okay, strength ring plus two. That could be rather good. It looks like a good item, so... We'll see how that is going to work out for us. But yeah, note to self, never use the poison needle ever again. That was a terrible, terrible idea. Absolutely awful. Okay then, so let's unequip this immediately. I definitely do not want to have that equipped anymore. Equip the uh, Dragon Warrior's sword. Oh dear, I almost want to sell it out of anger, but I I might as well keep it. But um, yeah. Anyway, I'll also buy the other weapon, the one that gives us money, and I'll try that out in the next video. I would say I might as well do a few things before I go and fight the env envoy of Xyphos. Just some interesting things, I suppose. A few different things, and then maybe in the next video I'll also have the uh, Dragovian King Sword ready to use as well, so we can try that out. Possibly in Sika Sika? Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe I'll do it in the Tower of Mirrors instead. That would be good. Anyway, um, uh, what are we upgrading? Upgrade to this. Come on, baby. Yes, perfect. Per perfecto. Alright, so... 
Yeah, I'm gonna end the video. What? Okay, this video hasn't actually gone for too long. It's actually pretty good length because we did get through that area rather fast. So se searing slash master stroke. That is. Oh, I didn't actually want to equip it there. Uh, yes, it does look the dogs on me. I agree. Let's see what we need to temper this weapon again. Well, that's pretty cool. Honestly, it's been a long time. I mean, what I'm doing right now is exactly the same as what I was doing in the previous, uh, or the first playthrough that I ever did of this game. I never, in the one that I've done on this Wii, the other one, I haven't actually upgraded this fire path, but in my very first playthrough back in 2010, oh, I did the Blazing Blade, like, after I did the Envoy of Zyphos, so, yeah. Let's see what we need. So we need five iron ore and just a few more monster bones, so that's going to be pretty easy to deal with. Um... Yeah, okay, well, not that easy. I think I'll be able to do two Arondite Heights, maybe, to get the iron ore that I need, and I'll probably, maybe, be able to get enough monster bones at that point as well. That would be the ideal situation, but, uh, yeah, anyway. So by the next video, I'm going to try and have the Dragovian King Sword ready. Maybe. I mean, you guys can see what this looks like. I kind of want you... Actually, yeah, you guys will be able to see what the final blade of this kind looks like as well before it upgrades to the Dragovian King Sword because I'll do that on camera. I'll actually upgrade to the Dragovian King Sword on camera for you guys. But the uh, Dragovian King Sword looks kind of cool. I like how it's got almost like a tail there. It is difficult to see the detail on it because it's such a small little drawing there, but yeah, we'll see how this works. I mean, I, I hardly remember what it looks like. But it does look kind of cool there. But yeah, I, it's hard to remember what it looks like in the on the big scale. So yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. But uh, yeah, it's been me, Doom Link, and I've been playing through this game quite well, actually. I thought, I mean, I was getting cold feet a little bit when I was having some problems with Der Gib previously. Just a few problems, you know, but I just needed to get my shit together and get some holy water by spending... And some Yggdrasil Leafs by spending the mini medals that I had. I was kind of hesitant to do that because I couldn't remember how I got mini medals. But when I realized that I can just get mini medals by farming the King Latem boss, I realized, oh yeah, okay, well that's not a problem at all. So I just went and did that and got myself ready to actually kill Dergib there. So that worked out quite well. And just those four noble metals was kind of difficult as a process to be able to get ready for the Metal King's Blade, or get ready to upgrade the Metal King's Blade, but anyway, um, I'm not going to get into a big monologue about it, but yeah, I'm glad that I managed to get past that, that difficulty stage, because that, that's probably the most difficult thing in the game, really, doing Dergib at that level that I was at. I was only level, what, 36 when I was fighting Dergib there, which is kind of low for fighting Dergib, if you didn't realise, but anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to end the video here, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Once again, I don't know what part it is, and once again, it is the 6th of December today. I don't think I will be making any more videos today, because I do still need to work on a few things. And I'll also get the other weapon, so I'll be using two weapons in the next video. I'll be using the Dragovian King Sword, as well as that weird abacus. It looked like... was it Astraea's abacus? Is that what that said? I think it said something like that. Um, but yeah, we'll do that. So, um, until next time, I'll see you then. So long.